Oh, well, finally, I've been waiting for another pirate game to come out, and finally we have Tortuga, A Pirate's Tale. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at a new pirate crew simulator. Not only just a crew, but also a fleet of pirate ships that we can command in the Caribbean during, uh, like, the 1500s between the French, the Dutch, and the English, trying to battle it out by raiding cargo and trying to evade any sort of cap... Uh, yeah, it, no, let's not even say captivity. We'd be killed on sight, let's be honest. But pirate games are near and dear to my heart. Honestly, I miss like Tropico 2, and uh, I think even Sid Meier's had a pirate game. Isn't that right? Like Sid Meier's Pirates. And boy, do you guys remember that Disney uh, Pirates of the Caribbean game as well? That was just awesome, yet it didn't really last long. And of course, let's not forget Assassin's Creed Black Flag. There's plenty of pirate games that uh, stand out, including Sea of Thieves, but... Uh, in terms of realism, this one seems to at least have that of trying to steal as much cargo and sell it or use it uh, as possible. So we're going to take our first look at the game and jump in for some more. There's a link to this one down below in the description if you'd like to get it today. I've just linked uh, easily to where to get it in the store page, and that will be through Epic Games. So if you'd like to get that, it is an Epic Games store exclusive. All right, well, we can go ahead and go with any portrait that we want. Uh, we can pick any sort of pirate look as we uh, so choose. I, I think this was the default, guys, so we'll go with that. Our default name, uh, Flagship, uh, which I think we could just choose. Oh, we can actually, <laughs> we can name our Flagship Flagship, I guess, if we want to. We'll just go ahead and call ours Raptoria. And, of course, our Banner 2, which in this case uh, is a myriad of different pirate skulls. That one looks good. And, uh, yeah, we can also change the colors and uh, whatnot, so that's pretty cool. I think, actually... Oh yeah, okay, so we can change it to one or two or three or four logos, whatever we want to do. So lots of customization options for your banner as you fly it high above your ship. Now this, of course, is when you're raising the uh, the skull and crossbones. Like, you know, when you're not in stealth mode anymore and you're about to go in for a strike. Alright, so there's different difficulty settings. Here we have uh, Pirate Hideout, which I think is the most deadly of them all. We'll have to fight other pirates too in order to uh, become king of the high seas. Arbor Master, and I guess we'll go for normal in this case, so we can see where the English, the Dutch, and the Spanish control different ports along the different coasts. Uh, we could go with our starting town, we'll go with, uh, let's go with New Orleans, yeah, we'll go with New Orleans here, and um, Strongest Nation, we could pick that, and also level of difficulty from regular hard to very hard, three difficulty settings there too. Alright, let's jump in and continue our first look. Yahar. Liberty and riches readily advanced years ago from the Caribbean to the stifling port taverns of the old world. There it found its way to your ears as well. For you, the passage, a crew, and a small ship were quickly, let's say, rounded up. But now what? Now, where liberty, fame, and above all, the riches have yet to come. Your crew's already honing the knives. And if all the next raid brings is merely a few crumbs for each of them again, they'll simply boot you out. Or worse. A truly big catch. The Spanish treasure fleet on its way to Europe. Packed so full with riches that it nearly sinks into Neptune's arms all by itself. Now that would help you, indeed. But alone on your puny cockle shell, you'd have to be completely out of your mind to head into battle against the best protected ship convoy in history. You need a better ship to do that, a larger crew, and above all, a gang of insane pirate captains flying your flag who know precisely what they're doing. So, Captain, the sails are set. Where's the voyage headed for? Oh, oh Skipper, you truly pulled out all the stops last night. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought a human being can drink that much rum. And then your wild ideas that we'll grab ourselves the Spanish treasure fleet. I hope it's clear to you that the crew will take you at your word. Well, you'll get it done all right. But say, you really don't look well at all. Let's go hunting! All right then. That was quite a feast yesterday. You look like you're not quite yourself yet. What's going on? Who are you? 
I'll be damned. It's me, your first mate, you drunkard. Uh, if you say it, it must be true. All right. I'm going to show you the basics. Let's get started. We'll practice standing straight again. <laughs> the main thing is you can still steer the ship. All right. So what I gather from the intro is that we're basically going to try to build the strongest pirate fleet in history to try to attack the convoys leaving the Americas with gold and other things. And uh, essentially like a great train robbery. This is going to be such an armored convoy that we need to build up fame and fortune in order to be able to buy or steal bigger ships, better ships than this, and assemble a pirate fleet as well as find captains, which means we've got to sail into ports like Pensacola or uh, New Orleans, which I think is down there somewhere, and um, basically recruit very good pirates, very good equipment, and very good crews in order to then take on the best of the best. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, let's see, yep, middle mouse button to look around, and WASD to move, cool. So we can actually sail the ship in uh, a top-down view let's if we want to. to town over there. Always a few merchants romping around towns. We'll grab one for us to warm up. You got it. All right, so we actually have to hold W, or can we adjust speeds? Oh, yeah, okay. So we can actually tap it, so we can go slow medium or fast, and then the wind probably also has a factor here, although I'm not entirely sure how to tell wind direction. Oh, there it is. We don't want to sail too close to town. After all, we don't want them to see us grabbing one of the merchants. One more quick look around at no military convoys nearby, and up with the black flag. Arr! Off to plunder! Okay. So, it looks like we're going for this ship. They have 229 out of our 279 in terms of manpower. And they have one ship in their fleet. It looks like it's holding gold, possibly. All right, then. So, it looks like wind direction is against us. So, our ship is pointed this way. So, if we want to speed up, we basically have to go uh, the opposite direction. The water looks beautiful, too, by the way. And I like seeing the ocean floor below us. That's really nice as well. Uh, let's see. We have our cash. The mood is lively, so we have morale for our crew to monitor. We also have our personal log. So, oh, we can change our details at any time. That's nice. So we can actually change our name and flag at, at any time. That's that's actually quite nice. Uh, let's see. We have new missions. So we have to win a sea battle and sink an enemy Everything ship. We plunder or acquire otherwise is stored in the hold. Here's also where you see what our crew wants to consume at the moment. If you unlock those goods for consumption... That increases morale. Okay, so we actually have 72% of our hold full of stuff. You can see all the barrels and things there. So we can hold a few more things. We have tobacco, fruits, grog, grain on board. And these are probably other things that we can either buy and sell and be kind of a merchant ship. But more than likely, we're going to make more money stealing like coffee, cloth, and uh, sauerkraut, I guess. And transporting that to... Uh, a better seller, or just using it ourselves, stealing like bread, for example. Kind of cool. Looks like there's a lot of information in this game, too. Very helpful. Oh, yeah. Salted meats that our crews want, and of course, things that affect their mood. So we can also uh, pro prohibit them from eating things if we want to sell it or using them, such as tobacco. All right, there's our first target. Let's search for easy prey. It's either disabled or something. All right, so we've raised the black flag, and now we're going to be attacking. Sail ahoy, Captain. Easy pickings for us, if you ask me. The convoy sits very nicely in the water. Nothing uh, phenomenal, but probably a decent haul. Start the battle or leave. Now we're going to start the battle. All right, let's go. Ooh, damn, the shoreline looks beautiful. The sea battle. We'll be carrying out the major part of our trade there. I can smell the gunpowder already. First, take time to make yourself familiar with all the things you see here. When you're done, navigate the ship closer to our friends. Uh, the shoreline looks beautiful. The city behind us, lots of gorgeous trees. I liked how the camera had this like panning intro over the trees. It was kind of cool. Um, 
So I'm assuming that these white areas are probably the effectiveness of our cannons. So the closer they are, maybe for some reason they'd be less effective. Maybe we can't fire them all. But we want to be at least two uh, spaces away from the enemy. They're there. And we can also see their armament. So it looks like two cannons on either side. And same with us. Oh, we can also activate or deactivate cannons. I wonder if that means if we deactivate the uh, starboard side, if we can get port side, which is the left side, to have more men, maybe? Shooting at them with muskets or something from the side of the ship. If we could put all the crew on one side or reload faster. All right, let's move. Oh, yeah. There's our banner. Oh, you can clearly see that for sure. Oh, yeah. Next round, we ought to get within firing range. Then place yourself so that we can tag them with a genuine broadside. Well, there's no telling where they're going to go, so I'll try to maybe get in front of them. We'll see if we can actually land a hit. Enter shooting mode. All right. Iron balls. Oh, look at this. We can also choose grape shot and chain shot as well. Reduce normal damage, but adds a damage to the sails, so that'll cripple their movement. Go ahead and try iron balls for now. Simple, regular, everyday. Fire. Direct hit. They won't take that for long. Don't let up, Skipper. We'll send the landlubbers to Davy Jones. Well, I think we want to board and capture more of that. Uh, ship's hold and possibly use it as our own ship so let's try to board and uh, take control of that ship let's end our turn maybe they'll shoot back oh they missed we shook them up all right let's board them execute oh try again so here we are in the eye of the storm, face to face with our enemies, saber in the hand, only a few feet away from our certain doom. Here you see the balance of power. The better it looks in our favor, the greater the likelihood that your daring plans will work too. Now all you have to do is decide how we're going to proceed. Okay. Well, I think what we can do here is... Basically go all in with the 90%. Not so hasty, wait till they make a mistake. The first one on the other uh, boat receives two fame more. Oh, does this actually uh, affect the outcome of the... Like, basically our... Like, booty? Hmm. Nothing wrong with booty. Well, let's go ahead and go with the 90% uh, chance for success here. All right. Okay, well, that was a good move. Let's continue boarding. Uh, let's see. Now, that's ridiculous. Let's take advantage of the opportunity and butcher the unarmed ones. Oh, boy. Form a circle and let battles be settled one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing beats a righteous brawl. Uh, we have to go all in. One more push should do it. Uh, the... Enemy's efforts focus on the bow. It's time for a plan. Oh, we got them cornered on the uh, bow of the ship. All right, let's go with the... Uh... Yeah, let's let's tell the captain to surrender. Not bad. Let's see what we've captured. Very good. Let's inspect the loot. Okay. Lots of information. Wait a minute. Oh, this was information we already kind of went through. About how to fire a salvo. Uh, hitting the enemy's sails. I think they're just trying to tell us all the information they possibly can. About basically how to board the enemy. How to shoot at the enemy. And how to steal their cargo. Oh yeah, this is good. Alright, <laughs> lore dump right there. Wow, value of entire cargo is 11,000. We have five. Well, now we have nine. We started with five. I can see it there. Let's see. 
Well, we want food for our people. So bread and fruit is good, but we also want sugar to sell and tobacco pipes. So I think all of this would be great. Um, 160 out of 160. Can we confirm to take anything? Oh, looks like we have to go with a little less of something. Let's just go with one less bread. That'll do. If we go with 160, it won't let me take it. So, there we go. Uh. Oh, now I can confirm. Oh, I see. That confirms it until we close this menu. Ah, now we can take over the enemy ship. I want to inspect the boarded ships. Let's see if we can make use of the one... <laughs> One of the tubs. All right. So that is our sloop now that we're capturing. So we can take that into our command. And we can add that to our fleet. Good thing we didn't sink it. Now we'll have to repair it and whatnot. Very good. All right. Let's continue. Hmm. The first mate smiles at you. Welcome. That'll cheer up your bones. It's got us some loot. How's the head? Um. Must be more to it. You're absolutely right. We need more ships, but we don't have anyone who's well-suited to be a captain as you are. It's possible that someone is hanging around in town. Off to town, then. All right. Well, Captain, let's sail into town to fit ourselves out a bit. We're sure to find a few good seamen in the tavern. Black flag is automatically raised when attacking. It's automatically caught up again as soon as you're unobserved. Certain convoys will chase you. As long as they see the Better black flag. If we haul down the black flag again. We don't want the people in town to snitch on us right away. Okay, so now we can oversee our uh, fleet. Although I guess we don't technically have the second ship without having a captain. We have somebody basically. Well, they're not really leading it very well into battle, but I guess they can bring it uh, with. So we can right-click to raise and lower the black flag. Okay, cool. And that other ship is with us, but we can't use it in battle until we uh, go and recruit someone. So now we're... Even though it looks like we <laughs> we have our banner above us, it looks like we're in piracy mode. But unless we have black uh, sails, it, it's us just basically being <laughs> stealthy. Remember, Captain? Yesterday, there was rum aplenty here. If we need supplies, we can get them here. First off, I suggest we go to the tavern. My throat's all dried out. Oh, uh, I bet it is. All right, let's go with uh, Doc. Okay, so now we want to go to the tavern, which looks like that. Well, let's take a look at the rest of the town. Looking pretty good. Nice lighthouse here. Docks look nice. A little blurry. Uh, I think that's supposed to be kind of an effect for... Yeah, I wish it weren't as blurry, but I think it's supposed to be a distant effect when we're on the ship. The city's supposed to look a little blurry, but here it should be nice and clear. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a setting to change that, but it's cool that we can see, like, the governor's house and uh, ship docks here actually building uh, dry docks here. Oh, wow, a little barge going around, too, loaded with supplies. Kind of cool to see the activity in the town. The first man in town lives here. If you want to keep on the right side of a nation, then those are the boots you'll have to lick. Here's also where you always find out what your current standing with the nation is. Okay. So they can get bounties on our heads if we're not careful. Go to the market. Here at the market, we can sell everything we've captured. The market is also the easiest possibility to obtain provisions. I've never understood why any convoy wouldn't have a load of rum aboard. It would make so many things simpler. <laughs> okay, so what we can do here is sell everything that we've got. It looks like now our capacity is 290, but that must be the two ships con uh, combined. We can sell all of our loot and booty now or buy more uh, provisions if we need it and uh, buy things like ropes. I wonder if that's for repair. Wow, prosthetics we can buy. So we can actually, wow, a game that allows you to buy a hook hand. Or maybe like an eye patch, although that wasn't really used for, uh, you know, it was, it was used to go below decks, that kind of thing. Alright. 
Let's do a uh, tavern. That smell. It brings back memories, don't it, Captain? You see that guy back there? He looks like he'd make a good captain. Just what we need. Break the ice. Maybe he's willing to join forces. Yeah. In the tavern, you'll always find new jobs or capable men and women to accompany you on your adventures. Talk with uh, to that fellow over there. So we can divide booty amongst the crew. We can buy around for the boys. Oh, maybe someone will join your crew. Hmm. Uh, let them eat cake. Constantly engrossed in books, he sips on his red wine. Oh, are the oh one of these two. Irish coffee. Uh, no matter what shanty, this man knows them all. Okay. Let's see. In the furthest corner of the tavern, there's a person lying on a table. Empty beer mugs, playing cards, and leftover food bear witness to a long night. Plon upon closer inspection, it turns out the stranger is not sleeping, but mumbling something to himself, barely conscious. Let's buy him a beer. With bloodshot eyes, uh, he spots the beer and takes a few hearty swigs. A minute later, he seems <laughs> like a new man. Forgive me, Captain. Uh, Sierra Miss Walsh. Oh, Seamus. Oh, wait, how do you say that again? Se Seamus? I think it's Seamus. But anyway, uh, at least in theory, that is. Unfortunately, I lost my ship a week ago in a dare around Turks Islands. Oh, that was one of our uh, starting places. Okay. Well, don't worry about that. I'll get you a ship. Welcome aboard. Fantastic. Your silver tongue always does the trick. Let's test his skill right away. We'll grab us another trade convoy. All right, leave town by choosing to cast off. Take a good look around. It's likely we'll have to head here often. Everything to do with the ship can be found at the harbor master. He repairs the ships, sells upgrades, and sometimes one or another ornament too. Oh. So we can upgrade the ship here so we can do things like add more cannons. We can increase our boarding strength so I suppose we can buy more weapons. Or at least take an overlook at the whole ship. So our action points, our maneuverability, armor plating, and cannons, offensive and defensive weapons and equipment. And we can also sell. They'll make her one and two in maintenance. So yeah, we're still at 100 health even though... There may have been a little damage in the boarding attempt, but just slightly. So I guess it doesn't really matter. A little wear and tear. And let's see. Oh, we can repair all ships. So the other ship did take a little bit of damage. Is there a way to see the other ship? Um, well, let's just repair everything. Cool. Sail maker. Ah, so we can get additional sails. We can buy a rudder. Very spendy. I think we'll save our cash for now, but, uh... Or maybe we should get a new sale. Movement damage is reduced by 1%. Wow, 7,800 for a 1% boost? Eh. Maximum speed increased by 1. That seems important. Okay, some of these other upgrades are actually worth it. And we can also sell upgrades, too, if we want to, uh... Sh maybe change something, ship them out. Or shift them out. Ah, uh, the sloop. Fantastic. Same thing with the rudder and the sails. This would be a good additional ship to have for just getting more booty. So we can actually uh, haul some more stuff around. Not great for combat, but still has guns that can shoot at the enemy. And of course we can also, well, take all that loot into town. So that'll be good. So we can sell a lot more stuff, but we're fully loaded uh, for now with a lot of good stuff. Let's go back to market and sell some stuff then. So what could we get rid of? Sauerkraut lowest price, 126 We'd make 883. I don't really think the men are going to care too much about that. But let's sell just a little bit of most of the things we have. What is this? Bread. We have wood. We'll need that for repairs. Fruit for scurvy. Uh, grain. Seems like there's a minimum. We have enough for 58 more days. Okay, so we can cut that down if we want to. Or we can shift it to zero. Oh god, we would not want to... Reduce the rum. Where's all the rum gone? Captain Raptor's selling it. Oh, we don't have any. 
Oh, we do have some hemp? No, we don't. Uh, this is all what we have on the right side. So we have grog. A lot of stuff I really don't want to sell, but sugar would probably be a good one if we had it. Which we do. So 975 for that. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of trips. We'll sell a little bit here to start with. Wow, value of entire cargo is 10,000. But that's why we want to do piracy. All right, let's leave. And we'll come back for more uh, upgrades and whatnot. So that is uh, the basics, I suppose. We need to now go find another ship to uh, raid. So essentially... Wind. Uh, supposed to talk about wind. Hold on, I, I know I jotted it down somewhere. Oh, oh yes. Uh, when you sail before the wind, you're much, much faster. Okay, uh, guess anyone could figure that one out. Okay, yeah. Very nice. And we also have a map overview and a few other things. Lots and lots of helpful info on this one. But that's the gameplay loop, I would imagine. For now, is basically going and finding smaller ships of prey to then raid and then go back to port and continuously sell. But also want to make sure that we don't get too, uh, you know, hot in terms of the local authorities. Somebody will figure out what we're doing eventually, and it probably is a wise idea to go elsewhere since we have the whole Caribbean to explore. We can switch between different map modes. And uh, right now we're around here, so the southern current United States, Louisiana, uh, and Florida, between these two areas is probably the best to operate without going too far. But we can make our way down the coast of present-day Mexico, and even make our way down to, like, Panama, although it doesn't look like there's too many uh, ports at the moment. Looks like we can switch the difficulty at any time if we want to. Unlock fast travel through capturing pirate hideouts. Okay. So these are all main cities. So we have St. Augustine, Port Orange. Um, these, I, I, okay, these are all controlled by France. So everything basically along the eastern coast of Mexico and uh, southern United States. Okay. So we can't see the Dutch or anything at the moment, but they might be harder ports to go and raid, perhaps. Uh, but then we can fast travel. Well, we need to find ourselves a enemy uh, pirate hideout, maybe, and take it over. Go on another raid. Now we have two ships, so this will be cool. Going for the kill. Sail ahoy, Captain. Easy pickings for us, if you ask me. The convoy sits very nicely in the water. Nothing phenomenal, but probably a decent haul, just like before. So it's another sloop. Our sloop has 279... Oh, apparently we have two brigs? Well, anyway, we're doing this with two ships, so this will be interesting. Have at them. We're not showing any mercy. Love that intro where it zooms across the uh, ocean. Lead, or to the one, ocean. Two ships into battle. That ought to be easy pickings. All right. Let's do it. So, we don't get to deploy, it seems. What is the... Uh, oh, collision risk. Oh, interesting. We can actually have a collision with our ship. So, that means we can actually ram enemy ships, too. Let's move our... Is that our sloop there? Looks to be with that uh, captain there. And let's go with the uh, end turn. Looks like the wind will change between each turn, too. So, a lot of strategy here. Don't mind the turn-based stuff with it being a little... I don't know, I always equate that whenever I see this, I just think immediately XCOM is the greatest. If you say XCOM, even if something doesn't really, it's not very similar to that, if you just say it, people kind of get about 90% of the basics. But yeah, you have action points, you move into a position, and then you can eventually fire on the enemy. Alright. Now well, we could ram that enemy, possibly board, that'd be interesting. But, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and try to broadside him. Enter shooting mode. Fire! 
Now they might fire back. Let's move this way. This will kind of force him to move forward. I don't think he can pull a 180 here, so he's got to go between us. Perfect. Oh, did a little damage there. That's going to cost us money, sir. Come back around. Could try boarding. Uh, crew damage only and effective against armor. Let's try Grape Shot. Six crew members killed there. So yeah, now we need reloading time. That'll take a little bit of time. So I guess he won't be able to fire his cannons again either. Because I believe he fired on his... Oh, maybe it was port side. I'm not sure. Alright, can we try to board... I don't think we have an action for that. 30 out of 45 men, though. We could recruit more soon. Now let's fire again. Let's try Grape Shot one more time. <laughs> Our whole ship almost uh, tipped over there. And they're resistant to that. They're going to move. Oh, he's circling around to shoot behind us. What a miss. Ah, now we can board. Execute. Sloop v. Sloop. Boarding maneuver successful. Let's see. Any other options here? No. Uh, we are boarded on the enemy ship, though, so if we're going to do anything, I only want to do chain shot on their rigging. And slow them down. If they try to move. Okay. Get out of harm's way. I'd imagine on the harder modes they won't tell you what the uh, outcome of some of these operations would be. Let's board this ship again. Oh, maneuver failed. Wait until the enemy makes a mistake. Oh, wow. Wow! Howling hurricanes are we good! Ha ha! If it keeps going like this, we'll need larger treasure chests soon. Inspect loot, take over ship. Why would we want to kill their captain? I don't, I don't really want to do that. I just want money. Alright, let's see. We can take their tobacco. Are we taking their full supply? Yeah, looks so. Alright, so we've ordered to take everything, I believe. Good. Let's get down to business. The cutthroats on our crew won't take it on the chin forever. At some point, they'll want to see a few gold coins, too. Which means we'll have to divide the booty soon. Now we're back where we started again. And I thought it was just the rum that's making everything spin. Then we'll give the crew what they deserve. Drum up the folks and let's split up the loot. Sail back into town and we'll clear it up over a mighty swig at the tavern. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, uh, yeah, so I think we could capture the other ship and do a few other things, but since we're just kind of learning, let's go to New Orleans and divide the booty. All right, so back to the tavern. We saw that option before. Divide the booty to keep your crew in the right mood. Hi, Captain. We've already accomplished a lot, and now tradition, as tradition demands, it's time to split the booty and prepare uh, to vote for a new captain. In your one days at sea, your crew managed to raid two convoys, capture two ships. Ah, so we do have two ships. Plunder 96 barrels of wares and obtain one... What? Well, okay, in total we have 14,652. We started with five, to be fair, but still. Uh, not so fast. I have a few questions. Ah, okay, so more tutorial. We want to. <laughs> Why should I share my gold? 
All right, well, we'll do it. Let's divide the plunder, but lots of tutorial options, so that's good. You're the captain, so you can also specify how much of the booty you want to share. The more the crew receives, the better they'll find it, of course. But a bit of advice from me. Don't give them too much. They'll get used to it. And next time, they'll expect just as much. Oh, really? Hmm. Now the crew says you're a pot-bellied money bag who traded freedom for merchant convenience. Who thinks you're a master of piracy? Who thinks you're the very best like no one else before you? Hmm. Oh, we didn't sink an enemy ship. I oh, I see. So these are things that affect approval, and then uh, these are probably random events that occur as well. So, or random uh, quests. So if we sink it, en we didn't sink an enemy ship, so negative 14. But now we have a bigger fleet, so it'll hurt, uh, help us in the long run. Because we'll be able to bring more booty back to port and thus pay our crew more. So let's give them... Let's counteract that previous thing. So that's a 14.3. So let's go with whatever gives us 15. We'll round it off to... Can we type in a number here? No. Uh, let's try to get as close to 3,000 as we can. Uh, 3,003 is fine. Let's go with that. So cruise approval will be 11. Ah, so we want it a little higher. Never mind. I'll go for a 75% approval rating. Maybe some other good stuff will happen to increase that. All right, let's do it. You and your captains ex uh, gains experience zero from quests. 328 from sea battles. 200 from boarding ships. 197 bonus from approval. Wow, great. Boarding ships also gives us some good bonus. You have an approval of 50 or higher, that's good. But you have to make fewer promises. You can go back and revise your decision. Interesting. With time, you and the captains are becoming more and more experienced. When you've amassed enough experience, you ought to split up the loot and invest the experience you've gained in new skills. This kind of reminds me of what it's like, even though it's not exactly similar a uh, tropico a city builder based in this area which is interesting but uh when you're running for president and presidential office you have to make promises you can give tax cuts your approval rating is very important in that game as well and uh providing things like health care entertainment and then delivering on those promises give you big bonuses in order to be reelected. and so it's kind of similar to this in many ways of trying to uh, get quests and whatnot and do those uh do those quests in order to get XP, but also to make your crew happy. That's really cool. Well, now that we have some XP, we have some abilities. And my goodness, that's a pretty big amount of abilities there. Uh, let's see. We can get more uh, sailors recruited there. Morale. Melee increased effectiveness at short range. Hmm. Less movement damage to the ship. Oh boy, you'd have to really break all these down. Let's go with Boarding Frenzy. Boarding Strength and Boarding Probability. Because I've been enjoying that so far. So, And it looks like we can also increase that by investing skill points. We have none left, so... Yeah, we'll go with Boarding. Plus, that gets us more ships, and that's cool. Because then we can recruit more captains. So that'll be awesome. So, Captain, you probably thought you were done with divvying up the gold and could sail on now. Sadly, no. We still have to draw up articles of capture for our next cruise. We pirates just love our articles and codes. It's quite simple, too. You make a couple of wild promises to the crew, and the boys elect you captain again. But watch out. If you don't keep your pledges, they'll hold it against you. Damn. It's like being an attorney or something. These guys were early day attorneys. Ah, now we're going back down to 40%. Oh, I see. we got to make promises now. So, we'll accumulate booty. Oh, wait. 37. When do we have to do this, exactly? Not sure how long between... Like, if it's 37,000 in an entire year, that's possible. In a day, maybe not. Uh, let's do accumulate booty. Plunder a town. Wow, we can actually plunder towns, too. 
Uh, divide loot per person. Good impression on England. Win a sea battle. I guess we could do that pretty easily. Improve ships so we could buy an upgrade. That'll give us plus eight. So we could increase it about... Ah, I see. So if we make promises, we can also create... Okay, that would have been nice to know beforehand. So you could also get by by paying them less, but also saying, Hey, uh, I'm not going to pay you guys at all, but uh, we're going to win a sea battle. And then apparently everybody will fall for it. At least 10% of it. That's probably good enough to start with, I think. And we're probably going to have to start sinking ships too, but we'll do that later, I suppose. Good job, Captain. This way we stay right on course. Every approval above the threshold, uh, flesh, <laughs> threshold uh, will motivate our crew even more. With the increased morale, our raiding expedition will be even more effective. Flesh? Are we turning into cannibalism on this ship? I don't think so. There's better things to eat. Bread and, of course, grog. Now just rum. Just bring the rum. Cast off. Perfect. Well, then put your signature here, here, and here. Uh, do you want to keep a copy for your files? Good. Things can move on now. Now just send the receipt to my email. My God, these guys are attorneys. If you're truly serious about the Spanish treasure fleet, then we ought to visit an old acquaintance of mine. Back then, he was mate on a Spanish ship that freighted gold and silver to Europe. He's an old geezer now. But he might have a few bits of useful information for us. That is, if your mug suits him. Alright, we have a new task. Wait, talk to... Wait, Walsh? We already met him at the tavern. Alright, let's see where we need to go. Is it marked anywhere? I guess not. All these signatures, keeping things in triplicates, stealing from productive uh, convoys. It, it's like we're... Yeah, it's like we're the uh, attorneys. Alright. Well, I guess this might be where our uh, quest is. Let's go ahead and go full speed then back to New Orleans. Missions. Go to the tavern in Port Royal and talk to the informant. Oh, okay. Let's follow that quest. One was to talk to Seamus, but we already had because now he's captaining our other ship. Now, I don't know where Port Royal is, so... I guess we'll have to pull up our map. Um. Huh. Ah, down here. Well, we gotta go all that way? Uh, looks like we should probably... I don't know if we should directly sail over the ocean, maybe. Would there be a Kraken? Let's see what happens if we do that. They're kind of recommending that we just sail along the coast. But if we sail directly there, which should be this way. Actually, we need to shoot between Cuba and Mexico here. Oh, we could actually see the quest on the compass, too, up above. There we go. Wow, that's going to be a long way to go. Huh. Go to any tavern and talk to St. Okay, so we can do that when we get to Port Royal. That should be pretty easy. Cool. Let's get there. There's a time control speed in the upper left corner, so it didn't take as long as I thought it would. I've been seeing a few Dutch ships, too, around Cuba, but only a few of them as we approach Port Royal now. So we can talk to our informant here, and hopefully it's an actual town that has a governor and, of course, the tavern and whatnot. And even a, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there might be trouble, they say. Anyway, I want to find a, a shipwright so we can modify our ship. Oh, this might be a pirate hangout, actually. Or a hideout? Ooh, English ships.
Here we go. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. As long as the rum's tasty, no problem. Ha! I haven't been in this dump for a long time. If I'm not mistaken, we'll find my acquaintance in the tavern or close nearby. I must say, I wouldn't have thought you'd turn out to be such a good captain. Now you already know the ins and outs of the tavern. <laughs> Besides our regular drinking binges, you can also buy a round here in order to hire new seamen. In addition, you'll often find people with deep pockets here who have one or another job for us. Very nice. Okay, so we can now uh, speak with the old man, whomever he is. I would imagine to be the informant marked as informant. <laughs> it, no, it's the Gordon's Fisherman. And, of course, Seamus as well. Fantastic. We can continue on from here, I'm assuming, and probably get our first major quest and then start exploring all of the Caribbean. But that marks the end of our journey for now for our first look at Tortuga, a pirate's tale. That's out now on Epic Game Store. Link down below in the description. Use code RAPTORIA anytime that you uh, get anything, for example, for free on the Epic Game Store. Every, I think, Thursday it is. They have a couple of free games, too, that you can download. So if you're a gamer on a budget or if you don't have a lot of time or don't want to really invest too much in games but certainly love them, you can check out this one and many others and use the code Raptor at checkout anytime you find something good or something free for you. Tortuga seems like a lot of fun for strategy and building a uh, pirate empire, and it certainly seems promising to be able to go through all the work of building a crew and assembling your ships to be a legend. You guys are legends too, so thank you very much for all your awesome comments down below. Thank you very much for leaving a like to support the channel, and thank you very much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you all next time. Take care.